Hey everyone, welcome back to my Unity Playfab tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to check different authentication methods which the Playfab provides us. So, first of all, let me show you a little demonstration. So, the methods which we will cover in this video is going to be a username and password combination login and the register for the same uh, provider. Also, we will check how we can log in with Steam and how we can log in as a guest. Okay, cool. So, yeah, first of all, I have created a little uh, UML diagram. So it's not really a correct diagram, but uh, still can give you an idea what we are going to do uh, here. So basically we are going to have an iLogin interface and all of the login providers like Google, Gas, Team, stuff like that, are going to implement this interface. So this interface is going to have only one uh, method, which will have some parameters in it, and that's going to be the login uh, function. After that, uh, we are going to have a playful login script. It's going to be a mono behavior, and uh, for each of the providers, we are going to create a public function, which will be called from the UI. So, as you saw on the UML diagram, basically the central component of the system is the login interface, the I login interface. The first three parameters will be directly uh, forwarded to the playful login methods, and the fourth will hold information for the different providers. For example, if you want to log in with the username and the password, the login params will contain those two strings. The object type just simply means that it can be uh, anything, but you have to unwrap it before you can use it. Now let's head to the email login provider. Cool. So this provider basically uh, will enable the user to log in with the username and the password. And uh, before that, he can register with the email username and password combination. Notice that we have an email login params class, a subclass of the email login class. It's just simply to store the, the two strings, the username and the password. And whenever we call the email logins login function, we will just simply create a new email login params object and we will pass it to the login function as the login params object. Cool. Now on the first line of the login method, we first unwrap the login params as an email login params. Now, if something went wrong and the email login params cannot be converted, sorry, the login params cannot be converted into an email login params, then we catch it here and we will just simply uh, debug a little error message and then return from the function. Now, you can see that the IDE highlights uh, some modifications here. So, we can make it a little bit uh, more simple. After that, finally, we can create our request, which will contain the title ID from the Playfab dashboard and some additional information like the password, the username, and the login info params. So, Let's just check uh, what can the info request parameters hold. It just simply contains a bunch of Boolean values. For instance, if for instance, if I would like to get the logged in users uh, user inventory after he logs in, then I can just simply uh, set the get user inventory Boolean value to true. Now, if we get back to the login function uh, after creating the request. Uh, then we somehow need to send this request to the Playfab servers. Now to do that, we have to call the Playfab client APIs that login with Playfab method. Uh, it takes in several uh, parameters. So first of all, of course, it takes in the request. And after that, we will uh, pass two callback functions, the login success and the login failure functions. They will be called after the response from the Playfab arrives. 
Of course, if the request was successful, then the login success method will be called, and otherwise the login failure. Now I will go to the Playfab login script. This is the main mono behavior, which methods will be called from the UI from the buttons. And after that, we are going to have a start method here. Now, if somehow uh, a user is already logged in, uh, then we can handle it here. So right now we are just going to log it. Now let's check how to log in with the username and password. So let's just open this region here. And as you can see, first we, in the login with email method, we are going to validate on the client side as well. So if you peek into the validate login data method, you can see that we are just uh, simply having some pre-checks here, like uh, if the username has enough characters and the same goes for the password as well. Now, if the data is successfully validated, then we will call our private login method. And we are going to pass some parameters to the login function. So first of all, uh, we are going to create an instance of the desired login provider. So right now it's going to be an email login. And uh, for the second parameter, uh, we are going to pass the login params as an object. Now let's check what the login private login method actually does. So as you could see, it basically just gets two parameters, an instance of an iLogin uh, interface implemented class and uh, the login parameters. So after we pass these values to the, to the login function, it just simply calls the, the, the iLogin uh, interfaces login function with the given parameter. Also, the onLogin success and onLogin failure uh, methods are implemented in this class. So let's uh, check these. Uh, yeah, so here you can see the uh, these three methods, which uh, right now doesn't do any special stuff. It's basically, just uh, logging some informations like uh, login success and stuff like that. And uh, also, we are going to hide the login in progress. A UI element here. Cool, now let's check it in the editor. So right now here's the playfab login uh, script and it has the two references to the login and register UI. So we, if, if we go to the details, it's just uh, simply uh, holding these input fields. Now for the buttons, we are going to have a login button which calls the, the playfab login scripts login with email method. So basically this one here. And we are going to have a register button, button which, uh, yeah, so first let me start the scene. Yeah, so if you click on the register button, it just simply hides the login panel and uh, enables the register panel. And uh, right now, if I'm just going to uh, pass in some values here, uh, yeah, stuff like that. And if I click on the register button, it uh, calls the playfab login scripts register function. So if I click on register, uh, you can see that the pre-validation just uh, caught this exception. So the email is not valid because uh, right now it doesn't have an at symbol. And by the way, I've forgotten to show you the, the email register function. It's extremely similar actually to the email login function. It just simply creates a register playfab user request. So it's almost the same request as we used as we've used for the for the login, but uh, we are going to have some additional parameters here, like a, an email. Yeah, and after that, we're going to call this register playfab user uh, method of the playfab client API. And also we are going to pass some methods, 
like we've just done with the email login function. And basically that's all. Awesome. So in the next video, I will cover how you can log in with Steam and as a guest player also. So see you soon.